Who is the martyr, teacher, and leader Az al-Din al-Qassam? Although Qassam was Syrian, he symbolizes one of the earliest Palestinian struggles against colonization and for that left a remarkable lasting impression across generations. Az al-Din al-Qassam was a Muslim scholar born in 1881 in the Syrian town of Jebla. At the time of his birth, the Ottoman Empire still ruled the Levant and Arabia. He completed his early education in his hometown and at age 14 traveled to Cairo to study at the renowned Al-Azhar Mosque. While in Egypt, he was influenced by the ongoing nationalist movement and the anti-colonial sentiments across the country following the failure of Ahmad Arabi's revolt against the British, which ended ended in 1882. Qassam ended up returning to Syria. In 1911, he organized large demonstrations against the Italian colonizers of Libya and recruited Syrians to fight in Tripoli. Several years later, in 1919, Qassam formed a small militia and fought in the revolt against the French in Syria and their claim to a mandate. After being sentenced to death in absentia by France, Qassam fled Syria to take refuge in Palestine. Qassam worked as a teacher at an Islamic secondary school in the Palestinian city of Haifa, where his fiery sermons drew the attention of many. In 1928, he helped found and became the president of the Society of Muslim youth in Haifa, which was key in the spread of national consciousness among Palestinian youth. Two years later, in 1930, he was appointed as an official in the Sharia court of Haifa. During this time, Qassam traveled through the villages of northern Palestine, making himself known among the people and enhancing his reputation as a national leader. Qassam showed great compassion to the downtrodden. Since the Balfour Declaration of 1917, which promised European Jewry the right to colonize Palestine, Qassam had been aware of the threat of Zionism and the danger it posed. By 1930, two British white papers had been issued. London's desperate attempt to limit its reckless facilitation of mass Jewish immigration into Palestine. Hassam had for years been speaking out and rallying others against Zionism. He strongly believed that the British were at fault for facilitating this dangerous project, making him a target, and British mandatory authorities began monitoring his movements. In 1935, Azadin al-Qassam declared jihad against the British mandate and Zionist settlers. He led an armed group of companions into the forests of Yabat between the West Bank cities of Jenin and Tulkar. Hassam and his companions fought a six-hour battle against a British force that outnumbered them. While surrounded by British forces in a cave near Jenin, Hassam told his men to prepare for martyrdom. After opening fire at the forces, he and four of his men were martyred, and the rest were either injured or captured. Haifa declared a general strike the next day. Thousands poured into the streets to mourn in what was the largest funeral mandatory Palestine had ever seen. To the religious and secular alike, Hassan became a symbol of resistance against oppression. His death ignited fierce anti-British demonstrations and was among the major catalysts for the outbreak of the 1936 Palestinian revolt. He defended oppressed Libyans under the Italian yoke, joined forces with the Syrians fighting colonial French forces in his homeland, and brought resistance against the British Empire in Palestine. This made him the primary namesake for Hamas's military wing, established in 1991. His legacy lives on through the fighters of Hamas's Az al-Din al-Qassam brigades, who continue to invoke his memory and revolutionary spirit when confronting the occupation forces that are currently besieging and destroying Gaza.